Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Lebwell, and I'm from Mount Sinai in New York. On behalf of my co-authors, I am pleased to present the two-year safety and efficacy results from the phase three poetic trials of decravacitinib in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Tyrosine kinase two, or TIC2, is an intracellular enzyme that mediates cytokine signaling involved in psoriasis pathogenesis. Ducravacitinib, an oral selective allosteric TIC2 inhibitor, was efficacious and well tolerated over one year in the poetic PSO1 and PSO2 trials in plaque psoriasis. This analysis evaluated the safety and efficacy of ducravacitinib over two years. Poetic long-term extension is an ongoing open-label extension trial in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. In PSO1 and PSO2, patients were randomized one to two to one to oral placebo, ducravacitinib six milligrams once daily, or a premolas 30 milligrams twice daily. Patients receiving placebo crossed over to ducravacitinib at week 16, and some apremolas treated patients switched to ducravacitinib at week 24. Patients could enter the long-term extension after completing PSO1 or PSO2 and receive ducravacitinib six milligrams once daily. The two-year safety profile of ducravacitinib in 1,519 patients with plaque psoriasis was consistent with the one-year profile and no new safety signals were identified. Most adverse events continued to be mild or moderate in severity and incidence rates of serious adverse events and adverse events resulting in discontinuation remained low. Nasopharyngitis and upper respiratory tract infections were the most common adverse events over one and two years. Apart from COVID-19, incidence rates of adverse events of interest were similar during the one year and two year periods. The COVID-19 pandemic occurred during the poetic long-term extension trial. No clinically relevant changes were observed in laboratory parameters over two years. PASI 75, PASI 90, and SPGA of zero or one response rates were maintained at high levels over two years in patients receiving continuous to crevacitinib treatment, regardless of data analysis methodology. Response rates were also maintained in placebo crossovers and in PASI 75 responders. In conclusion, Ducravacitinib had an acceptable safety profile over two years consistent with the one-year profile in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Clinical efficacy was maintained over two years. These findings provide additional support that Ducravacitinib is a safe and efficacious long-term treatment for plaque psoriasis.